Hey guys, Dr. Malcolm here, board certified gastroenterologist and internist here to serve all your digestive needs and gastrointestinal issues. In today's episode, we're gonna continue our discussion from last week which antacid to buy over the counter when you go to the pharmacy for your acid reflux symptoms. We're gonna focus in on the proton pump inhibitors or the PPIs. All that and more after this. In today's episode, we're gonna continue our discussion from last week, which antacids to buy at your local pharmacy when you have heartburn. We're gonna focus in on the PPIs or proton pump inhibitors. So which medicines are these? Three of them are currently over the counter. Prilosec OTC or omeprazole, Nexium or ezomeprazole, Prevacid or Lansoprazole, and then there are more PPIs that are not currently over the counter. Protonix or Pantoprazole, Asifex or Ribiprazole, and Dexalant or Dexlansoprazole. So when would you take these? You would take these when you have severe symptoms. You would also take these when you have sustained symptoms, symptoms that have been going on a while. You would also take these medications when you have more than three to four episodes of reflux symptoms or heartburn symptoms a week. Next, you would take these pills when you're not responding to other antacids. And lastly, you would of course take these medications under the direction of your doctor. Just remember, these medicines are stronger. They work better, but they do have downsides. These medicines do not work immediately. These medicines also take a couple days to a week to work. So if you have really bad heartburn or food sticking or regurgitation and you go to the pharmacy and you need immediate relief, these pills are not the best choice for you. So a couple tips to remember with these medications. One, they always work better when you take them in the morning when you wake up prior to breakfast. Ultimately, these medicines are stronger than the H2 blockers. Remember, that's your Pepsid or your Famotidine or your Zantac or your Ranitidine. So these medicines will be stronger in the long term, and that's why sometimes they're a better choice for you. Guys, I'm so excited that you joined me in today's episode. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you like and subscribe to these videos and join me on this adventure through your digestive symptoms and your digestive health. Just remember that today's video is not a substitute for a doctor's office visit. Remember that all medications have side effects, so don't forget to read your package inserts. And until next time, I hope you feel better.